Argentine Tango Away Early Alzheimer's. Look at this diagram. A normal brain and a brain with Alzheimer's. Extreme shrinkage of several cortex, severely enlarged ventricles, and extreme shrink shrinking of the hippocampus. You can avoid all that and improve your neural plasticity. The brain rewires itself based on how you use it. The hippocampus and the cerebral cortex responds to learning new things that use both your body and brain. Learning to dance, and tango in particular, due to it being a dance that requires more attention to detail than other dancers, can work wonders. Because age is not a disease. Use it or lose it. All activities that require you to both use uh, to use both your body and mind can improve your brain's ability to fight off dementia. Social dancing and tango in particular have been reported to lower your chances of getting dementia or Alzheimer's as much as a whopping 76%. That's really an, a reason to, to learn to tango. Social dancing and tango require social skills as well as physical learning, improving your brain's health. Connectiveness, links to brain plexicity, leads to constructive learning, and it goes around and around. And that's why continuous learning is so important. As we get older, our aging brain cells start to die off and we lose the synapse that pass electrical signals from one neutron to another, causing memory loss. New research is showing that by continuous learning of social dancing and tango in particular, we grow new neural pathways. Social dancing in general will create new pathways, but tango, due to its complexity, provides the most increase. If you're not willing to learn, no one can help you. If you are determined to learn, no one can stop you. And it does take a determination to become a tango dancer. Why tango? Tango requires that you either learn to be a leader or a follower by requiring, both requiring cooperation and skill. You can only grow new synapses when you learn new and difficult things you haven't done before. Tango requires improvisation and a level of skill that does not rely on memorized steps. It really takes two to tango, forcing you to use both your body and brain. In tango, you change partners after three dances or sets that are called tandas forcing the dancers to have to make adjustments and make fast dance decisions as they follow or lead different partners. As you can see from this picture, uh, a great uh, uh, malonga is what a, a tango dance is called. It's full of wonderful people that you haven't met yet and everybody improvising and having a wonderful time following certain rules and etiquette of tango. And Women benefit most. Women have no idea where the lead is taking her, forcing her brain to make fast and constant decisions more so than the lead. Men can benefit by being aware of the follower's abilities and adjust their leads to make sure that the follower is comfortable and feeling the direction the tango is going. In the end, everybody or everyone benefits from a great night of tango dancing because age is not a disease. We still have available the Power of Mindfulness for Weight Loss ebook and also the Kenogenic Diet Discover the Low Carb Difference. You know, they're both only $19.95 and they're available for immediate download. If you really, really, really want to lose the weight and get healthy, either of these two books will help you in the right direction. We have available at SaturdayMorningDiet.com our three weight loss packages, bronze, silver, and gold. Either one of these will fit into your budget. Make sure that you take advantage of these great programs that we offer at extremely low price. Again, please subscribe and share this information with everyone in your world. Take care. We'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.